Elephant zapped to death in Cambodia after bumping into an electricity tower. Asian elephants are endangered, with maybe as few as 35,000 left in the wild. But sadly, that number is down by one after one of the large beasts was shocked to death when it knocked over an electrical tower. According to local reports, the elephant was rubbing up against a tower in southwest Cambodia last Tuesday when the creature was shocked twice. Once when the tower collapsed on it, and again when the elephant came into contact with the wires. It received burn wounds to its back, legs, and thighs. Officials say the five-ton animal will be buried at a local zoo. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Sadly, this poor pachyderm isn't the only elephant to die horribly. Bus collision instantly kills eight-year-old elephant. An eight-year-old elephant died a horrible death in a bus collision this weekend, just before it was about to be released into a sanctuary. Ply Udom, an elephant from the Elephant Reintroduction Foundation, had escaped from its enclosure in Thailand. At around 10 p.m. on Saturday, a tour bus carrying 25 passengers was traveling on the Lampang Chiang Mai route. The elephant had wandered onto the dark road, and the bus was traveling at 60 miles per hour. Unable to see the pachyderm, the bus driver slammed into the animal, killing it instantly. Its body was dragged 100 feet before the bus came to a complete stop. Bus driver Nurichi Trong, 45, was badly injured and trapped in the driver's seat. It took rescuers over an hour to free Ji Trong. He was rushed to a nearby hospital. No other passengers were injured. The unfortunate elephant was being prepared for release into the Doi Pham Wang Wildlife Sanctuary in Hang Chang. Elderly elephant dies from decades of giving tourist rides in Thailand. Imagine more than six decades of being underfed and forced into parading people around on your back all day long. That was what life was like for Sao Noi, an elephant in her 60s who, like so many others, was used as a slave to meet the desires of tourists visiting Thailand. A month ago, Sao Noi was rescued and retired to Boon Lot's Elephant Sanctuary in Sukhothai. When she arrived, she was severely malnourished, her body emaciated, her bones brittle. But her spirit discovered new life at the sanctuary, making friends, enjoying space to roam, and falling in love with the forest. Not long into her new beginnings, her days were cut short, as she fell ill and began collapsing repeatedly. Her human and elephant friends, like Boon Thong here, stayed by her side until her time had run out. When it finally did, the kind nurses and animal welfare staff at the sanctuary buried her in the forest, leaving her with fruits and flowers and blessings from some holy monks. While it was a long, sad life for Sao Noi, at least in the end, her story was tied together with love. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Thousands demand ban on elephant rides. The death of an elephant in Cambodia has led to an online outcry and calls for tourist rides on the animals to be outlawed. Sambo the elephant collapsed and died on Friday at the Angkor Wat Temple Complex. The elephant, who was aged between 40 and 45, had been giving rides to tourists in temperatures which hit 40 degrees Celsius. According to a vet, the elephant died from a heart attack brought on by high temperatures and a lack of wind. She was aged between 40 and 45 years old and had worked for the Angkor Elephant Company since 2001. Photos of the dead elephant have gone viral and have led for calls for tourist rides to be banned at Angkor Wat. A change.org petition asks Apsara, the Cambodian management authority of Angkor, to stop the practice at the temple complex. As of Wednesday, more than 45,000 people had signed the petition. The petition says Sambo's death should be the final wake-up call needed to end what it describes as a horrific practice. According to the petition, elephant rides are cruel and harmful to the animals. Animal welfare organization NGO World Animal Protection agrees. In February, it released a report naming elephant riding as the cruelest wildlife tourist attraction. The Angkor Elephant Company has 13 remaining elephants and represent the largest concentration of captive elephants in Cambodia. 
The company's owner said on Tuesday the elephants will now work for about four and a half hours a day, an hour less than before Sambo's death. 